Johan De Beer, you had a great day yesterday making a hole in one on number three at Chambers Bay. Describe what that was like. Um, well, I got it to, off to a really rough start, so it was just an amazing feeling kind of getting that that one there. I mean, it's, it's a tough hole, really hard pin location back there, and it's just a, kind of weird that my first three holes in seven, five, one, so it's just a great experience. I mean, I was just so relieved once it went in the, in the hole. I just one of those feelings where you, like, you can't believe it. I mean, it's really that you get a hole in one, and especially doing it in the US Amateur it just felt really special. You had to go back and finish two holes at Chambers this morning and then come out here for a 9.15 tee time. Describe what that was like. Um, that's a little, I mean, it, was, it wasn't that bad as, as, uh, as, it, as it sounds. I mean, it's, it's obviously frustrating having to finish around in the morning after you've played. We played them on it's about six, six and a half, seven hours. Uh, yesterday afternoon and um, it's, it's, it's tough at the because the greens are getting really tough and really firm at Chambers Bay so I mean it was it wasn't that bad coming back but it was just, it's kind of frustrating playing that long and not being able to finish your round in the, in the day you, you started off so I mean it's it's what it is so whatever. How about some highlights from today's round of the home course? Uh, today was was kind of very very even keeled most of the round I just I mean I made I think I made 15 pars, two birdies and a bogey. Kind of putts weren't just falling, so I mean, no highlights. Just I had a pretty good eighth iron on the on the what's it, the third hole. Hit it about five inches from the hole, so that was a pretty good, pretty cool shot there. Describe the differences between Chambers Bay and the home course this week. Um, well, definitely, firstly, it's just on the greens, and uh, obviously, it's two different style of courses. One's a, I mean, it's a true links Chambers Bay, and this one's kind of more of a soft. It's a softer course. It's got Ben Greens doesn't have um, like all the whole course at Chambers Bay is the same grass and uh, I mean it's just it's so much trickier. Yeah, you can land it on the green, try stop it, and over Chambers Bay you got to use your shot, shape it in there, use the, use the contours of the course, and um, kind of just hit good shots and just hope they pay off and get get good good bounces there. In your opinion, who had the favorable draw this week? Um, well, I mean, I, like I said, I, like you asked, I, I played last night and I came out this morning and. Uh, Chambers Bay um, it really dries out, and the, obviously they said they had to water the greens to kind of get them so softer and as not as fast as they were. So um, thinking of the guys, the guys who teed off in, in the afternoon at, at the home course and in the morning in the, at Chambers Bay really have that advantage because uh, because the, the greens are just so much better in the morning at Chambers Bay. They get they get really dried out and really quick late in the afternoon at um, at Chambers Bay because they've been baking in the sun the whole day. But I mean, it is what it is. Like I said. You're from South Africa, and you had a lot of great players come out of South Africa. Gary Player, Ernie Els, Ratif Goosen, and now Louis Oosthuizen, who just won the Open Championship. What type of influence have those great players had on you and your golf game? Um, and it's 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 just I mean, like you know, we have like you just said, we have a handful of, of great great players that are, I mean, in the history books. But it just it gives you confidence because we're we're really a small country. I mean, we're just bigger than Texas. And I mean, I go to college in Texas, and it's 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 just an ama amazing experience because. It just gives you the belief because we're not a lot of people in the golf. I mean, the, the competition compared back to back home, what I and what I what I deal with over here is just. I mean, you can't even compare it. So it kind of gives you that that hope that guys from the same country in the same small place can make it big, and that obviously gives you gives you the belief that you can do it. So it really helps out when you see guys like that and young guys like Louis Westhuis and Michelle Schwartz all coming through. So it's pretty neat seeing that stuff. What memories will you take away from this year's amateur championship, at least after the first two days? Well, definitely that hole in one. That was that was a great ace, and just I mean the the, the experience of being here. This is one of the greatest amateur tournaments in the world. So it's just I mean it's 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 awesome competing with the best best amateurs in the world, and also making friends along the way and and seeing your friends do well and and just just having fun while you're here. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks.